Lord, the song has exhorted us to encourage us to ask Jesus to help us. He is waiting to hear us. So Lord, we look to thee and ask thee to assist us in our worship this day. Before we sing these songs of praise, we pray, Lord, we'll not yield to the temptation of being mindful about our burdens outside the sanctuary, being concerned about our travels coming up, only that we would remember those who are traveling now for several have started their vacations. And we pray they will be encouraged and lifted that, Lord, through the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, through the communion of saints, we may be one wherever we are in the world today and in the various places. Let our people be lights, O oh God, not disputing about anything, not uh, murder, murmuring, but, Lord, that they may be uh, persons of light and of lifting and of helpfulness round about. This morning we pray that our hearts shall be brought close together. Our hearts shall be like Jesus Christ, that we will love him, that we will have within us the very mind of Christ, and that, Lord, we will be willing this day to forsake all that we might truly be the disciples of Christ. We pray in the words that Jesus taught us to pray, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You may turn while you're standing to hymn number four, a hymn of praise, number four. Praise the Lord with hymn number 10. Number 10, we praise thee, O God, our Redeemer.
taste from afar to try when your arms are too weary to reach the unreachable star this is my quest to follow that star no matter how hopeless no matter how far to fight for the right without question or and covered with scars.